to everyone for being here. This is such a great event. I'm reading from my collection, Happy Okay. And the poem is titled, I will not expect others to understand. In my family albums, some of the pictures of my papa are blurred in soft light, otherwise indistinct. Others are sharp, the eyebrows dark, thin, and arcing. His lips are full, like pomegranates, his chin firm. In one photo, his eyes are dangerous. He has hard angles. His body could cut you if you didn't know the way to move around him. Sometimes a man, a father, will look at you in ways that make you want to die. Sometimes in ways that make your heart open like a moonflower. You'll see how afraid he is that you might fracture into the dots of a pointillist painting. You'll see how he is certain he is to blame. You'll see desperation you missed in his eyes before. People don't always understand when I tell them. Where there's roughness, there's also tenderness. My muscles ache with pangs of longing. For a father I know existed alongside the one who moved through stark murkiness, overwhelming sadness. The one who lost God and clan because they couldn't share his secret grief. The one whose fist became bludgeons because he didn't know what else to do. It's physical, a deep longing as much for that other father as for the second me who also resides alongside the first me in photos, a second girl trying to push out from my torso to struggle free from my bones. My papa sits in his rocking chair and I'm in the background in the photo holding the azaleas that must have been nodding in the first evening breezes. I'm oddly positioned within the space, my arm cut off by the frame of the camera. And all I want right now is for my papa to gather me up in the circle of his arms and carry me to comfort. I remember that my throat hurt that night, dry in a place my tongue couldn't reach, a ache outside myself on the soft of my palate. If you stare at a photograph long enough, it flutters and the eyes inside nearly wink. Thank you.